Hey, hey, pilots! Welcome to the exciting episode of War Robots Domination, a series of helpful gameplay tutorial videos designed to help highlight the tactics and strategies that I use to help tip the scales in my favorite game, War Robots. Each episode will feature a full battle along with helpful commentary that will provide insight onto what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. I'm your host, Gotcha Beacons, and I've been playing this awesome game for a few years and I've learned a few tricks along the way that I'd love to share with y'all. You'll notice that although my hangar is fairly basic and at lower levels, I've been actually able to climb it up to expert leagues, so I believe that you'll find my tactics that will help you do more with less. An important skill to acquire as you develop as a pilot and grow your hangar. I should also mention that this is my second account that I started to when I purchased a new device that had screen recording capabilities. So don't let my stats fool you. This is actually my baby account. But it sends a great message to pilots who feel that they need to chase the current meta in order to remain competitive in battle. Because you don't. Wise gameplay can usually overcome any fancy gimmick out there. The Orkin Panada builds, also known as death buttons, are a great example. They can still melt just about any build in the game, and its heritage stems all the way back to nearly the beginning of the game. It's all about knowing when and how to use it. So, without further ado, I invite you to sit back, relax, and enjoy today's episode while I walk you through my gameplay tactics and share with you my mindset in battle. I hope you find it entertaining, helpful, and fun. Let's start today by looking at my hangar. I've got the uh, Death Button Raven, my Russian Death Button Raven, my Avenger Carnage, my beautiful Zeus Fury, and the Sparks Scourge Mender. All the bots are at level six, and my weapons are at level nine. Looks like we're gonna be dropping into Dreadnought today. Um, it's a big beastie fella, and it's fun to play in. I'm um, enjoying my friends in the background and status as they play their newest song, Theta. It's really cool. All right, so I start in uh, Dreadnought with my death button, Raven. Um, I like to get into the belly of the beast. Um, from inside here, kind of like I do with my Zeus on the big open maps, I can get a lay of the land. But in um, in this battle here, you know, in this map especially, um, having good cover is important because on these big open maps, well, where there's area where big open areas, you'll see that um, you'll get a lot of splash uh, pilots out there with uh, zeniths and hydras and um, you know you've got the um, the big buff and the happening on the um, on the tridents and so you, what you want to do is get to an area where you can kind of be somewhat protected and still be effective look I'm taking this guy out oh it's my old clan mate here's my new it's my clan mate hey this is gonna be kind of fun sorry buddy hey when you're red you're dead right so anyway, um, now I'm gonna get my um, Russian death button here. But all I'm trying to do right now is just kind of keep an eye on uh, beacons, see where we're at, and um, and then kind of go from there. So by kind of staying here where I can kind of be protected, it's a good idea, but um, oh my gosh, those those tridents got a really good buff. If you've got a, a trident uh, fury, or if you had one in the past, I tell you what, those are old school, but man, they are making a comeback big time. So hallelujah, I like that. You know, it's so great to see old school weapons uh, get a buff and uh, be in their rightful place. I tell you what, back in the day, they were scary. Well, they're scary again. That's awesome. So I'm I, what I'm doing right now is I see that um, we're doing a pretty good job of keeping them blue on, around the outside the edges of the field. So I'm kind of sacrificing this bot here. Um, the Zeus Fury doesn't have a lot of advantage on an open lap map like, or on a, a Dreadnought, unless you can really get in a, a fixed good position. But based on where all the concentration of battle is, it doesn't do me any good to try to go out and fire where they're not. You see, we're up four beacons to one right now. So really, um, as I said in like another vi uh, a video here, um, now it's a matter of trying to get the reds to concentrate in this area. Because if you can do that, you're essentially going to get them to forget about the important things. And you all know what that is. Look at my name. It's the beacons. I want to get the beacons. But sometimes if we got the beacons, now it's just a matter of holding them. One way of holding them is to distract the reds. How do you distract them? 
engage them in battle. So right now they're focused on me and getting me and getting my mates and all that stuff. And guess what? The beacon stayed blue for too long, guys. Boop, boop. Okay, so there you go. Keep them blue is all you gotta do, guys. Let's look at today's pilots. We got, um, looks like we got a, a combination of masters and experts on both sides. There's an expert two. Uh, they started with, with a max, uh, master three. There's an expert uh, three. There's an expert three, that's me. Um, there's another expert and two. And a, um, <laughs> the cricket, he was hopping around a Cossack and doing awesome in a diamond. That's awesome. There's, um, on the other side here, we've got a master and some experts. Everyone did a good job. I hope you see your name up in lights, guys. Um, and uh, and uh, uh, see your name in the video. That's always awesome. There's my um, clan mate there, um, Sam X. Hey, buddy. And uh, there's an expert uh, one there, too, and another master. So good uh, on both sides. If you see your name, <laughs> thanks for the game. Hey, hey, thanks so much for watching, guys, here. Well, friends, that just about wraps it up for another episode. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed what you saw and were able to take something you learned and use it in battle. I will continue to add content to my YouTube channel, so please stop by when you're able and check out the fresh material, or just click on an old episode and maybe catch another tip that'll help you up your game. If you're here for the first time and like what you see, please tap the subscribe button in red, and then tap the bell to be notified when new episodes are released. Also, it would really mean a lot if you could make a comment about the video, whether it's an example of how this episode helps, or maybe additional advice to elaborate on the tactics shared, or even constructive comments to help clarify something I might have missed. It's all good and greatly appreciated. Finally, I want you all to know why I put these episodes together. This game is full of challenges and can really create frustration for some who are simply trying to have fun with this awesome game. My goal is to provide you all with helpful and informative content that will help reduce the frustration and increase the fun. So, if you feel these videos are helping you, please share them with someone you feel would benefit from them. That's it for today, guys. As always, keep them blue out there and play well. I hope to see you on the battlefield. I love you all for your support. Peace out.